In this project, we're going to create the handle for our do-nothing machine. From the drawing, I can see that, that it is 200 millimeters long and 18 millimeters wide and has a thickness of 6 millimeters. I have my on-shape document for the do-nothing machine open. I'm going to start a new part studio and make sure that I create all of the parts for this assembly in the same document. I'm going to start a new sketch. I'll put this on the top sketch plane, right click and view normal to the sketch plane. For my handle I'm going to use a corner rectangle and for my start point I'm going to click coincident to the origin, stretch it out to the right, click the mouse again, and the distance or the length is going to be 200 millimeters and the width is going to be 18. Next we're going to place circles for the hole locations and I can see that there are three 8 millimeter holes that go through the handle. These are located 12 millimeters from one end, 75 millimeters uh, between the two holes, and 10 millimeters from the opposite end. To place the circles for the holes, I'm going to use a center point circle. And when I come down here on top of this bottom line, I can notice a midpoint lights up, and as I pull away, you can see the dotted projection line. So with that dotted projection line on, I'm going to left click the mouse to establish a, the center of one circle and continue. I see this projection. I'll click and get the second circle. Down from this end, I hit the midpoint and see a projection and put in the third circle. Right click and escape circle. Now I'm going to use my dimension tool to set this first circle at 8 millimeters. And I'm going to use a equal constraint to set these other two circles equal to that one. So now they all will stay at 8. I'll use my dimension tool to set the distance. So from the end to the first hole we said was 12 millimeters. From the center of this hole to the center of the next hole is going to be 75. And from the end to the center of this hole is going to be 10 millimeters. With that done, I can hit the green checkbox to accept that. I'm going to right click and go to isometric view use my extrude tool and choose this profile so it chooses everything and leaves the circles out and it has a thickness of six millimeters so that looks right I'll accept that and my handle is created hit P to turn the planes off and now I'm going to go down I can see the part studio I'm currently working on. I'll right click, rename that, and this is going to be called the handle. And I'm finished.